I'm Rick Johansson and this is Iron Echo Design. So I did a video a couple years ago that had interpolated lines like this and I've been getting comments such as this one. I'm using Inkscape 1.3. It cannot get this interpolation effect to work. I noticed that in the new version, the menus changed, the options are different. So I'll make a quick update video on this right now. Okay, so what is interpolate? It is to insert something into something else. I've set up some basic examples here. The way you do the interpolate function, select one of your lines, hold shift, select another line. Then down here, here's the cheat sheet. Go up to extensions, generate from path, interpolate between paths. This is the new menu. It's a lot better. It's smaller, quicker, easier to understand. And it's very different from the old one. The first one, exponent, used to be zero to start things off. Now it's one. So we'll start with one. Interpolation steps, going back to the definition. How many things do you want to put inside? Let's do five. The interpolation method, now it's just a radio choice. Discard extra nodes and we'll keep interpolate style selected. Don't worry about the other ones, live preview. All right, that's the most basic way ever. This is with exponent one, so it's evenly spaced in between. And let's undo live preview. If you don't do interpolate style, watch what happens, live preview. It just keeps whichever one you selected first, it just adds that in between. So one, two, three, four, five of whatever was on the bottom. Let's do it again with more steps in between. I'll select the bottom, shift, select the top, extensions, generate from path, interpolate. And this time let's do 15. Pretty cool. So a very simple design like that. Let's go to an, a different exponent figure to see how it changes. This time I made the bottom line a little thicker. I'll hold shift, collect the top line. Extensions generate from path, interpolate. And this is going to be exponent 1.25. Let's bring it down to 10 steps. Keep the style live preview. See what happens there? When you keep the interpolate style selected, it's gonna take the thick, and as you get closer to the second path, it will become more like that one. So here's pink going towards yellow, going from thick to thin. All right, let's do another one. Actually, this time I'll show you what happens if you select the first one, the top one first. So the top one, shift the bottom one, same as always, generate from path, interpolate. We'll change it to 1.5. Let's keep it at 10 just for the live preview. Because I selected the top one first, it's going to bunch up towards the top versus bunching up towards the bottom. See how that it's bunched up towards the bottom? Now it's gonna bunch up towards the top. Cool, right? All right, let's make it Let's do um, 20, see what happens. All right, you get the idea. So there was one more thing I did want to show. See how we had these wavy lines. If you want to make it do something like this, almost looks like sound waves, all you have to do is take the two paths and put them on top of each other. Just overlap them a little bit. Doesn't matter if you start at the top or the bottom. I already got the top selected. I'll do the bottom, generate from path, and let's just do, we'll keep it at 20, go for it, there you go, <laughs> that's it, hopefully you found this helpful, let me know if you have more questions in the comments, and we'll see you next time.